La Bachayar Yom Shal Yashala, peace to the election of the nation of Israel, which consists of these so called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans, the elect of you, the 144,000 prophets, which are all men, and of course, the rest of the one third, which are men, women, and children, which will believe in the words of the prophets, which the prophets speak, the words of Yahweh by Shem Shai, which Yahweh is the true, almighty, and powerful name of the Heavenly Father, who the world even calls God. And his only begotten son's name is Yahweh Shai, who the world only calls Jesus Christ, by Shem Rechakodash, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Brokade Yahweh by Shem Shai, by Shem Rechakodash. Call Halayim La Yahweh by Shem Shai, by Shem Rechakodash. All praises to our power, Yahweh by Shem Shai, by Shem Rechakodash. Of course, Shin Yakabad La Shalayach Yim Nawa was Zekwanyim. Nawa shal yashala, all right. Double honor to our apostles and elders. Of course, that great millstone who well, peace and salutation to the elect. Shalawawa chasad, peace and mercy to the elect. Shemya Mafa, my name is Amafa. Mayan, great millstone playing tables camp, located here by Babal in Babylon. Um, Baha. Ayar, which is the city in the city of Philadelphia, PA, coming again with another lesson with uh, Ba Ma Amath, or in uh, of truth, or Slaki, I said, or I wish to say just in truth, I just want to say just in Ba Amath, that's it. So you have it here, the um, current, uh, you know, spirit that driven me to do this uh, was, you know, basically me. Analyzing in Hebrew, primarily Ha'abariath, which is the language that has been returned into the Hebrew lights, consists of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans, and those that have been scattered amongst the heathen. That lineage go back to a Hebrew light, and that's of course determined due to spirit. Alright? So, going through, of course, the Hebrew New Testament in the book of Matthew, and also within Timothy, which I fuss was led to. Look up this word, which I believe uh, uh, the camp head, all right, Machana uh, Raash um, camp or head camp or the head of the camp, uh, the Bach actually told me this word, uh, Hebrew word, or I borrowed off the bar before. Um, and you know, just I, I always look up things on my own, you know, so. It's all it's found in the book of Timothy's first Timothy's chapter four one, which it reads, But the Spirit hath expressed that in the latter time some shall fall away from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and, and doctrines of demons. So you, this is the word right here for demon, which Baha Barya is Shadium. All right, which you see here, it says Ha Shadium, which is you have just basically the demons. All right, now going to the book of Matthews, um, you have it in the 32nd verse, you have it in a singular form, which is Shad. Yum makes it plural, so I brought the plural version. This is the singular version, which is Shad. All right, or Sha and a Duh. Shad, all right, which you can see it written in the Assyrian script here. All right, I thought now I'm gonna go up and just read, I believe, the point at 32. All right, so this is uh, I'm gonna start at 27. It says, and, and as Yahweh Shai passed from thence, two blind men followed him, crying out and saying, Have chasad or mercy on us, or chasad now, I believe you would say. All right. Let's see if I can find it. This Syrian. Let me see real quick. Let's see. Yeah, 
and ignore this when it says this with the this uh this isn't the name they disguise it uh you know they change up things it's Yahweh Shai it's not Yeshua why uh, Yeshua whatever they want to say it's Yahweh Shai all right um let's see I don't see Chassad at this time but for the sake of you know staying on point of the lesson Slakia. Um, I'm just gonna continue on. It says, "And when he, it said, have mercy on us, thou son of David. And when he was come into the house, the blind men came to him, and Yahweh or Yahweh, yeah, Yahweh Shai said unto them, Believe ye that I am able to do this? They say unto him, Khan." In our basically yes, yeah, Lord. All right, you know, our basically like Khan. Yeah, I believe. Verse twenty nine. Then touch he their eyes. All right, which uh, what's that? Iron. All right, you got here. Ba I yun ya hum. All right, and I know that th the 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 ma makes it plural. Speaking of there, all right. Just so that that you know that uh, particular um, that would be the suffix. All right, suffix at the end of the word. Alright, so anyway, going on further, it says, according to your faith, alright, your faith, alright, ka, ama, wan, or ama, wath, wan, the come, alright, be it done unto you, and you get healed according to your faith, alright, your belief that Yahweh Bashem Shai can do it, alright. It's nothing possible, Yahweh Shem Shai. And their eyes were open, and Yahweh Shai strictly charged him, saying, See that no man know it. But they went forth and spread abroad his fame in all the land, all that land. And as they went forth, behold, there was brought to him a dumb man possessed with a demon. Alright, possessed. Okay, with a demon, which, you know, the point being is that a demon, all right, or a shad, or shadium, all right, demons, okay, they possess the body, okay, a bashar, the flesh, all right, which your, 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 your flesh, all right, your body is nothing but a tabernacle for the rakha, the spirit, all right, rakha. Rechaka, all right, your spirit, in which uh, you know we can, uh, you know, prove that in uh, you know various ways through the scriptures. Okay, um, in this instant, let me see. I'm gonna think which precept I'm gonna bring up for this um, particular lesson. I'm gonna fuss bring up um you know how or what the you know the demons is and cetera et cetera so what I'm gonna go into I think I need to get actually Slocky give me a wee moment the book of uh I believe I'm gonna go to Leviticus the twentieth chapter Okay, and let's see what scripture it is. I have this scripture, and then I have this other account. Let me see what I'm going to bring out. I'm going to first bring out uh, the Samuels, this account, and then I'll go from there. This book of Samuel... Or Shemwa Allah, I believe that is in the Hebrew. His name, Power. 
All right. Um, starting at verse 28 and 1, it says, And it came to pass in those days that the Philistines, which are Hamites, all right, of Ham, which is, means hot, which are the so-called Africans, which the Israelites and the Africans are two separate nations, all right, just so that you know. It says their armies together for warfare to fight Yashala, Israel. It says in Akish or Achish or Achish said unto Dawadah, David, know thou assuredly that thou shalt go out with me to battle, thou and thy men. And Dawadah said unto Achish, surely thou shalt know. What thy servant can do And Akhis Said to Dawadah Therefore will I make The keeper of mine Heat or head Forever Now Samuel Allah Or Samuel Was deed or dead And all of Israel Had lamented him And buried him In Ramah Even in his own city And Sh Sh uh, Saul had put away those that had familiar spirits and wizard out of the land. All right, now you know you go into this familiar spirit thing right here, which familiar spirit you got a wob right here, a wob. Let me check this real quick. One moment. You have it here, Necromancer, one who evokes the dead. You also have it in there. Uh, uh, you got ghosts or a spirit of a dead one, one that has a familiar spirit. Which this is, you know, basically going. You gonna have a, a one who have what a, a wicked spirit on them. All right, and those who uh, call up or uh, conjure up or karah racha. You know, you know, uh, you know that's a uh, wickedness. All right, that's on the left hand side. When you go to these different necromancers, these you know these different um, fortune tellers and etc. etc. You know, this is left hand side stuff you're dealing with. Okay, it says here uh, going on. It says, and the Philistines gathered themselves together and came and pitched in Shunumen. And Shaw, Shaw, or Saul, Saki, uh, gathered all Israel together and pitched in Gilboa. And Saul saw the host of the Philistine. He was afraid in his heart, I mean his mind greatly, or Lab, or Labwa, or his heart, he was greatly trembled. So he's seen, obviously, the you know, mighty men of uh, the Philistines, and he was afraid. So it says, and Saul inquired of the Yahweh, and Yahweh answered him not. So of course, you you know, he probably prayed to Yahweh Hashem Al Shai. All right, he sought out Yahweh Hashem Al Shai, and Yahweh Hashem Al Shai never answered him. So he says, neither by dreams. And that's one of the ways that Yahweh Hashem Al Shai communicate to, you know, uh, those whom he's dealing with, nor by uh, a warium. All right, or Yurim. All right, which awarium is lights. All right, from awar in the Hebrew, okay, which you got awarium, okay, which is lights, okay. You have it here, awar lights. All right, you got yemen in the in the Hebrew in the uh, English. All right, and you have it. It was stones that were kept in a pouch on the high priest. Breastplate used in determining the Most High Yahweh Shai's decision on certain questions and issues. So, this was, uh, you know, basically the, you go into the uh, the uh, Arwarium wa Thumium, or lights and perfection, or yeah, lights perfection. You know, the Lord have a priest, you know, uh, the high priest. Uh, you have it use these, use it, all right. And we have it. It's in the form of, uh, you know, our basically our cell phones and stuff, all right. Lights and perfection, okay, and it will give you the, the you know, basically the the decision, all right, you know, for certain questions and issues, all right. So in this case, uh, Saul, 
uh, he was uh, inquiring about uh, this whole uh, this whole battle, you know, with these you know this, these Hamitic nation. All right, for the Philistines. Okay, so it goes on. It says, um, and nor by the prophets. All right, so he inquired also by the prophets, which you know you you know the, the prophets. What do they mean to they ra'ah? All right, ra'ah or nabayayim. All right, which also they're known as seers. All right, which they see. Okay, which ra'ah. Okay, they get that vision. Okay. They only they speak before, you know, and you can, of course, you know, get information, all right, from these, you know, the prophets by dreams, all right, and the Urim and Thummim, all right. But it says on, <laughs> then says, then says uh, Saul unto his servants, Seek me a woman that hath a familiar spirit, that I may go to her and inquire to, of her. So, I mean, this is wicked right here that he did. Because this breaks a law, statute, commandment. Okay, which, uh, let me see, Lord willing, I can pull it up. Pull up, uh, I believe it's, uh, I may already have it pulled up in Leviticus, the 20th chapter. Which you have it here. It says here in 20 Leviticus, all right? 20 and 6 it says and the soul that turneth after such as have a familiar spirits and after wizards to go horn after them I will set my face against that soul and will cut him off even from his people all right so basically when you of course turn after obviously go into these different wizards okay necromancers etc etc Okay, and dealing with obviously conjuring up, calling up demons and stuff. Okay, spirits. You know, this is uh, broke breaking the law, statutes, commandments. All right, so you know, wizard. Let me see what this word is here. You got here a knower. All right, which uh, this is uh, you die, na ya. All right, so you die means to know baha barya. All right, in na ya. Okay, so it's like you die, you all right, and you have it properly knowing wise, okay, okay, uh, what else we got, um, knowing a musician, all right, uh, spirit divination, soothsayer, it says spirit of divination, a spirit which these soothsayers were believed to be communication. All right, so let's go to the other reference, which they got Leviticus 20 and 27. This is uh, to wab to go, go into the Hebrew, as you get all these, you know, these more understanding of words in general, you know, on the, the highest, deepest level, all right? It's the highest level to know, you know, when you into the Hebrew with the strongest force, all right, on uh, uh, everything, the pure words of Yahweh Shemel Shai. Alright, so I said 20 and 27. Alright, so it says... Uh, basically, you got this one. It says here, a man also... Or a man also or a woman that has a familiar spirit, or that is a wizard, shall surely be put to death. They shall stone them with stones, and their blood shall lay with, upon them. All right, you have these wicked spirits, these demons on them. All right, and you have obviously, you know, ones that the wizard calls them on. All right, and people got demons on them. All right, and these people go to deal with them. All right, so you have here, in this particular instance, what it called chase the different, uh, you know, left hand side. Div div diviners and then I th he um, out of the land now he's going to look for some alright so alright we're going to go back to it so back in the Samuels chapter 1 and 28 or 28 and verse 7 then Saul said so, then so, said Saul unto his servant seek 
eat me a woman that hath a familiar spirit, that I may go go to her and inquire of her. And his servant said to him, Behold, there is a woman that had a familiar spirit at Endor. All right, now going into this word for a familiar spirit, okay, more even depth, you go into it in the etymology, all right, you go into it from, uh, I believe you got to go to the Latin, all right, you got uh, friendly, belonging to a family, uh, you got pertaining to one's family, uh, and you got it right here, the noun meaning demon, evil spirit that one calls from uh, the 1850s, familiar spirit attested from the 1560s, earlier as it now meant a familiar friend. Alright? And you got people that, you know, I mean, I believe uh, at one time, you know, how this particular word came up. I was at camp. And the machina one uh had your one or one day at the camp, uh you know one of the ak uh in the camp uh t he was uh we had this uh this little this this random man came up and he he asked me particularly about uh something about like New York or something and he basically seemed very like as if he knew of me some in some way. But I never seen a particular person before, and then um, I believe uh, you know, the aqua's like that. That's a familiar spirit, you know. And then you know I ain't basically understand it. So you know, through the spirit, you know, the Lord, you know, um, brought me up to you know getting the understanding, increasing in this knowledge, you know, of it. So going on, it says also. So it says a demon, which is a shad, all right, or shadium, or right, which is you know some demons, evil spirit that answer one's call, all right. It says familiar spirit. It's attested from the 1560. It's meant as a familiar friend. The Latin, uh, plural, uh, Latin plural used as a noun meant a slave. So basically, when it break down to it, it break down to a household slave, basically, or or householder slave, something of that. Yeah, household. All right. And you have a slave because the you have it where the the, the spirit. It possesses someone, all right, in their in their obviously a physical body, okay. So basically, the body is being what a vessel for the spirit, okay, which is a demon, all right. So that you get the understanding, okay. And you have to understand that we hear the Lord created. Uh, what you call you, like people say, do ghosts exist and stuff like that? You had spirits that cohabitate. You know, both uh, are uh, they go both from to and fro from basically uh, you know, the spirit world and here. Okay, so this is um, the book of Colossians chapter one, and uh, starting at verse thirteen. This is talking about Yahweh Shai. It says, Giving thanks unto the Father, which hath made us meet to be partaker of of the inheritance of the saints in light, who hath delivered us from the power of darkness, and who hath translated us to the kingdom of his dear son. Alright. Now I'm I'm speaking right now of this is going to be talking about Yahweh Shai. When they speak of who by who, who created everything, so just so that you know, all right. So I'm not, just so you don't think I'm talking about this particular verse, all right. So it going on, it says, "In whom we have redemption through His blood, even forgiveness of sins." That's through Yahweh Shai. It says, "Who is the image of the invisible power?" It says, "The firstborn of every creature." You know, Yahweh Shai, all right, being Adam, so that you understand, okay. He's what the only begotten Son. All right, He's the firstborn of every creation, which cre creature means creation. All right, it says, "For by Him, which is Yahweh Shai, were all things created, that were that are in heaven. All right, in the Shemayim, by Shemayim, and that are in earth, in Aratazah, visible and invisible. So visible and invisible, what do you have?" Which is those things whether they be thrones or d dominions or principalities or powers all things were created by him and for him 
and he is before all things, and all, and by him all things consist. All right, so going into that, just so that you know, invisible and invisible. So there are spirits, okay? So just so that you know, have been created. So going into that word for principalities, you'll see it from the Greek, which is our Arka. Let me see if I can get a pronunciation. Strong's G seven forty six. Arche. 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 All right. Which uh, it means here. It says here of angels and demons. All right. Of angels and demons. All right. These are principalities. Okay. So that you know. Okay. They got it first estate. All right. So. Continue on another quad. We're gonna go another chapter. This is uh, second or clock Colossians, like the second chapter, verse 10, which reads It says, And ye are complete in him, which is the head of all principality and power. That's of course, uh, we're complete, of course, and of course, Yahweh Shimmy was shy. All right. So, you know, principalities, demons, spirits, they exist, okay? Just so that you know. All right, shadium, all right, they exist, okay? So, going on, and, you know, the demons, you know, they, you know, they go and possess different people's bodies and et cetera, et cetera, and different, they do different things, all right? So, going on, you have it here. That Saul went off. You seek a woman with a familiar spirit. That I may go to her and inquire to, of her. And his servants said to him, Behold, there is a woman that hath a familiar spirit at Endor. And Saul disguised himself and put on other raiment. And he, and he went and two men with him. And they came to the woman by night. And he said, I pray thee, divine, unto me by the familiar spirit, and bring him up, whom I shall name unto thee. So, you know, you have it where diviners and stuff, you're dealing with these uh, witches, okay? Same thing, okay? They what? They quora are called up spirits, okay? You know, familiar spirits. So you have it here. Uh, divine, I want to look that up right here. So you got Kwasam, Kwasam Bahabaria, Kwasam, which it means to what? Practice divination, divine. All right, diviners of of the nations about ba ba Balaam. All right, and it's a soothsayer. All right, they're prudent, wise, and left hand side. All right, as you if you don't know by now, there's a left and right hand side of everything. Okay. That's in the scriptures, and I believe in the Prographer. All right, and also uh, there's another precept actually. Let me see. Uh, yeah, sorcerers, but slacky. I'm going into my notes and some other things. Going to you could go like I'm not gonna pull it up on the screen. First Kings 22 and 19 it says, and he said, "Hear thou therefore the word of Yahweh." I saw Yahweh sitting on his throne, you know, in the spirit world, and all the hosts of heaven standing by him on his right hand and on his left. All right, so you have left hand angels, a malaach kayim. All right, malaach kayim. All right, are the angels or messengers? Okay. And you have, you have left hand and right hand, okay, good and bad, all right, simple as that. Um, so, you have it where um, the soothsayers, you know, they, of course, can conjure them up, familiar spirits. And, you know, basically, they use themselves as a vessel for these damn spirits, too, all right. So, 
Let's go on. And, I mean, it's your pod to get the understanding through the precepts. You know, through the precepts, you get understanding. So it says, and Saul was aware to her, or Saul swear to her, he going off again, by the Yahweh saying, as Yahweh liveth, there shall no punishment happen to thee for this thing. And that's wicked because you know that you suffer not a witch to live. And we read the law about, of course, uh, you know, basically these different diviners and deviations and stuff, they're supposed to be put to death, all right? Simple as that, you know. Or stone, you go, you have to go back to the law, slah. But I already covered it, all right? So going on, it says, Then said the woman whom I will bring unto thee, he said, and he said, bring me Shemuelah or Samuel. All right, so he wanted to bring the spirit of Samuel. This is what uh, uh, Saul wanted. It says, and the woman saw Samuel. So she called up the spirit, and basically, and she cried with a loud voice. All right. Let me get that word for voice in Hebrew because I got to get that word down. The voice is kowal. All right, kowal. All right, I'm going to have to get that word down. And it says, um, and the woman spake to Saul, saying, Why hast thou deceived me? Thou art Saul. So, you know, she was able to see that it was Saul because he disguised himself. And the king said unto her, Be not afraid for what sawest thou. And this left-hand side, all right? It says, And the woman said unto Saul, I saw gods ascending out of the earth. And he says, And he said unto her, What form is he of? And he and she said, an old man cometh up, and he covered with a mantle. And Saul perceived that it was Samuel or Shemuel Allah, and he stooped with his face to the ground and bowed himself. And Samuel said to Saul, Why hast thou disquieted me to bring me up? Now let me look into this word right here. Disquiet. You have regal. Re, re, what's that? Regaz. It regards basically to agitate, to disturb. All right. Going on. It says, and Saul answered, I am sore distressed, for the Philistines make war against me, and the Most High, Yahweh Shemeshai, has departed from me and answered me no more, neither by prophets nor by dreams, neither. Are right, there uh therefore therefore I called thee, all right, which call is Quora should be, of course. Call Quora. Get the Hebrew words down, Akim, you know, build your Hebrew up. We are Hebrew Israelites. Alright. I must note. You know, and uh you know, just using the experience, like trying it out is just gonna keep giving you growth. All right, and it's going to greatly increase your understanding of the scriptures. All right, but anyway, going on further, it said, Therefore I call thee, that thou mayest make known unto me what shall I do. So he got called up. All right, and this uh, left-hand side sorcerer did it. All right, then said Samuel, Wherefore then thou... Then dost thou ask me, seeing Yahweh had departed from thee, he ain't had the Rechah Kodash, and is become thine enemy. All right, and Yahweh hath done to him as he spake by me, for Yahweh had rent the kingdom out of thy hand and given it to thy neighbor, even to David. All right, so, you know, basically, I'm going to leave it at there. You know, I just wanted to go into really primarily, uh, you know, shadium or demons a little bit. Um, let me see. I, actually, I have another scripture, which is like Legion. Let me see if I can get it. Because people got legions of demons on them, man. This shit is crazy. It's slack for the rude, well, the rude speech, but it is what it is. All right, this is Mark chapter... Five, and this is uh, this is Yahweh Shai again. It says, Let 
You see, I'm gonna start here at the top five and one mark. It says, and they came over onto the other side of the sea into the country of the Gar Darnese Gar or Gadarins. And when he has come out of the ship, immediately there met or met him out of the tombs a man with an unclean spirit, which he basically had a demon. All right, he possessed. Okay, Wh whom had his dwelling among the tombs, and no man could bind him, no, not with chains. All right, so that's how heavy or kabod this spirit was on him. All right, that nobody could even. You know, basically, you know, shackle him up. All right. It says because that he had been often bound with fetters and chains, and the chains had been plucked asunder by him. So he, you know, he basically has superhuman strength due to these demons. All right. These spirits can do a lot of different things, you know, depending on what you help Hashem put on them. All right. And the fetters broken in pieces. Neither could any man tame him. And always, night and day, he was in the mountains and in the tombs crying and cutting himself with stones so this just showing you how the power of demons and what they do and you people do these different things cutting themselves up all crazy suicidal demons on them and stuff you know depression demons all right crying demons okay just going and showing you all right so the scriptures speak on everything all right it says but when he saw Yahweh shy far off he ran and worshiped him all right, the demons know, you know, these spirits, okay, all right, Rechayim, all right, uh, they know, all right, he, you know, they know, know, know who, of course, is the, what, the chief angel, which is Yahweh Shai, all right, and the chief power on the, of course, the Yahweh, which is Yahweh Shai, and they know, of course, uh, the, the, his elect too, et cetera, et cetera. That could be proven, but going on, it says, and cried with a loud voice, and he and said, and, and said, What have I to do with thee, Yahweh Shai, thou son of the most high power? So he already knew it. He, he just right there. I just spoke spoke on it. Slaki. I adjure you, I adjure thee by the most high, Yahweh Shemel Shai, that thou torment me not. All right, so he said, I adjure thee. By Yahweh that you torment me not. Because Yahweh Shai has obviously that all power. Okay. Which I explained in Colossians. Okay. The second chapter. Alright. Again. He's the head of all principality and power. Alright. So continuing back. It says. And he asked him. What is thy name? And he answered saying. My name is Legion. For we are many. <laughs> so this one man he's talking to and I mean you can see these crazy people when you you see these people out there I'm uh no with these uh uh Rukha Rai uh or Rashayim are these wicked or or really I just say Rai wicked or evil spirits all right on them legion let me go into that real quick all right this legion Roman regiment You know they got an army of fucking demons on them <laughs> Alright so going on It's not just one re demon on them It's multiple Alright Especially if you fall out the truth That's another thing Alright so going on And he pursued she Sought him much That he would not send them away Out of the country Now there was nigh unto the mountain a great herd of swine pigs feeding, and all the devils besought him, saying, "Send us unto into the, the basically the demons, right? And into the swine that me may enter into them." And forth while Yahweh Shai gave them leave, and the unclean spirits went out and entered into the spine, and the herd ran violently down to steep. Place into the sea They were about 2,000 So 2,000 demons Alright This man had And got put onto a, a swine And they were choked in the sea 
all right and they that fled the swine fled and told it in the city and in the country and went out to see it was that done was done Slakia. and they come to Yahweh Shai and see him that was possessed with the devil all right these demons and had the legion sitting and clothed and in his right mind and they were afraid so you know basically you want to show you that people when they got these demons on them these spirits that have them do all these wicked things unpure things that's outside of scriptures they're not in their right mind and the lord how about shimmy Shah has to repi them all right if they are, of course to be of course um cleanse them all right not everybody gonna get cleanse them so some of these people gotta get destruction they're gonna die with these demons and then they come back right you know these israelites that is all right so anyway the two-thirds all right and these other the wicked the edomites and uh, the rest of the uh, other nations, they just, you know, evil, wicked. All right. It says, and they that saw it told them who it befell to him that was possessed with the devil and also concerned concerning the swine. And they began to pray him to depart out of their coast. All right. So, you know, basically, that's all I'm going to bring out, you know. The power you have by Shemel Shai can, bring, of course, cast out Shadium. All right, and of course, we gonna do greater works too, and the same works as Yahweh Shai done. We gonna do greater works. So, I just wanted to go into that word for Shadium, Baha Bariath, or Shad. Okay, we got Ha Shadium, which is that's demons in he in Hebrew. All right, so to say demon in Hebrew, say Shadium, and Shad is of course the uh singular way to say it okay you find that here 32 and at the end shot all right so hope you're edified call all you lie allah hi now you how about shimel shabbash and rakaku dash all praise to our power you how about shimel shabbash and rakaku dash and double honest as apostles that great millstone well birthday how about shimel shabbash and rakaku dash shalom to the elect shalom